What's good? It's your man, Sir Kane, with a celebrity review. More like a TV show review. How many of y'all are fans of Chucky? Hi, I'm Chucky. Want to play? Chucky. How many people were scared of that shit back in the day? And then you got older and you just start laughing at the shit because this shit was fucking hilarious. It still got that creep factor, like at least part one and two. No, fuck it, nigga. Just part one. Part two was funny. <laughs> but it still had a little creep factor, man. But like part one is the shit. But this new Chucky series, you can tell just off the bat, just like the first 10, 15 minutes of the motherfucker show, the agendas is thrown at you. The Elemental P Club agenda is thrown at you. All right, this Elemental P character, so-called, a motherfucking is a um, he's an artist, but like he's not a like an artist in drawing. Like he makes sculptors and shit, right? But he don't make sculptors out of regular shit. He makes sculptors out of other um dolls like Barbies and um, you know, and a whole bunch of other dolls and just like make like motherfucking sculptures. Now motherfuckers think that's weird, but. At the same time, motherfuckers make sculptures out of pennies, toothpicks, you know, um, you know, um, a whole bunch of other shit. Cardboard sculptors, ice sculptors, you know what I'm saying? But I guess this Elemental P Club make a sculptor out of old baby dolls and shit. So, like, this nigga come across Chucky at a yard sale. He's like, oh, my God, I need a head for the sculptor. And this would be a good head because I'm making, like, a doll-like sculpture. And this would be the perfect motherfucking, um, um head for it so so he buys the motherfucker Chucky doll takes it home now the elemental P club guy is going through some bullying right and it's so over the top that it's unrealistic I understand that motherfuckers like probably get bullied and picked on but not like this if y'all watch the first episode of this motherfucking new Chucky shit it's just really unrealistic and the father is so unrealistic. He just like a borderline just asshole. Like, you know, just like his son ain't, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, like, it's like, it's shown that, like, it's the um, it's the father and the son because the mother passed. It's always the cliche, the mother died in a car accident type shit. You know what I'm saying? The father trying to cope with it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he's real pissed that the son is in the elemental P club. And... The son got a crush on a black boy and shit. It's all crazy and shit. It's all crazy. And the boy, oh yeah, oh yeah. And the black boy is like a like a conspiracy theorist podcaster or some shit. It's like what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> y'all bitches trolling. Okay, but um, uh, <laughs> but um, uh, <clears throat> so like he gets bullied all through school by niggas and bitches. You know, like even the girl, um. Uh, she posted up like a GoFundMe of this nigga with the Chucky doll, like talking about like he in poverty and shit and needs some help. <laughs> that shit was hilarious, but uh, <laughs> but uh, it was still unrealistic. You know, it was still unrealistic on the bullying and shit. And then like and then like it comes to a point where the father just destroys his son's sculpture. I'm like, okay. Why did you destroy his sculpture? <laughs> you know, like, I understand you're mad at the boy, man. But, like, you know, like, you know, like he's just doing his own thing. He ain't fucking with nobody. He ain't doing drugs. He ain't going to jail. He just in the elemental P club, right? You know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, his animosity and anger towards it is just unrealistic. And, um, his, um, his cousin and his um, family don't like him and shit. So, like, you're basically like a black sheep or an outcast. Now, let's get down to what makes this show so horrible. Chucky is like being his bodyguard. He's he's taking out the bullies for him. He even took out his father. He electrocuted that nigga. So, I'm like, so Chucky, you don't got no motive no more. So, your motive is to help niggas with their bully problems, right? Okay. Okay, this is this, this is Chucky. This is the new Chucky. This is the new fucking Chucky, dog. 
this is a this is one of the most worst reboots ever. And plus, like, I don't even know if it's a reboot or not. But I think it's a reboot. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it can't be a reboot because like they referenced Charles Lee Rain, um, you know, like character from the first one. You know, so like they know the doll is a serial killer. I mean, uh, I mean the Elemental P Club guy. You know, like he knows a serial killer. Now at the end of the day, Chucky's motive. He's a fucking criminal and a sorcerer. He was about to die. He put his soul into a fucking dial because he know what he got to do next. Put his soul into the dial. The dial comes alive. It goes off and it try to get another body to do the ritual so he can transfer his soul to the other body. This new motherfucking series is like, oh, fuck all that. I'm going to help him out with his problems. This shit is fucking crazy. That's the new fucking Chucky. I don't recommend y'all watching it. Because let me critique it. This Chuck is about him helping an elemental P club guy get over his bully problems. Here's how this the, the fucking series of Chuck is supposed to be. This series was supposed to be Chucky comes back. He goes, you know, like still still go along with the format. The motherfucker Elemental P Club want to do the sculpt that he need the motherfucker body. Okay, whatever. But but Chucky comes alive and eliminates everybody. But the boy fights back and escapes. But everybody dies. The boy gets locked up because they accuse him of murder. So Chucky back on the run. Next house. Try to do the same thing. Motherfucker try to escape. Now it's a motherfucking pattern. Now the cops are like, okay, everybody blaming shit on this dial. Chucky on a run. He's motherfucker trying to motherfucker get his body. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to get him a body to do the ritual. This is what it's supposed to been about. Like they completely, completely forgot about the motivations of Chucky. Now, since it's a series, they might go to what I'm talking about. But no, he did not even mention him trying to get a body. Not one fucking bit in the first episode. This should have been the motivation. Oh my God, I got to get a fucking body. I, I can't be in this fucking dial no more. This motherfucker is having problems. I can just get him in his sleep. The daddy is a drunk. I can get him in his sleep. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, Chucky could have been got a body. First episode. This is how crazy it was. So, that's my review on Chucky. Man, this is another franchise ruiner. Hollywood is not creative. So, fuck them. And fuck them. <laughs> Peace.